Hi, this is Rakshada. I'm from the North Vancouver City Library. Thank you for joining us for STEAM Time. Today I'm going to be showing you an experiment that explains air pressure. So for this experiment, I have a one liter bottle of water. Um, this is a soda bottle. I filled it right to the top with water. I've also got a tray to catch any drips. I've, and I've got some push tags. So just make sure that this is tight. Then I'm going to take one and try to pierce a hole through the bottle, like so. Then I'm going to try and pierce a second hole. Try to go along the same line. So I've, I've made three holes here. Now, let's see what happens when I take one of the tags out. So as you can see, there's no water leaking from the hole. I'm going to try and take this one out too. There you go. And I'm going to try and take the third one out too. Now there are two types of forces acting on the water. First is the atmospheric force, which is preventing the water from rushing out of these holes. Now observe what happens when I unscrew the cap. Water starts rushing out of the holes. That's because as I've unscrewed the lid, air comes inside the bottle and pushes this water down. That in turn pushes this water out of the holes. Here's another fun experiment. It's an old school experiment that you can do to demonstrate the science of pressure. I've got my bottle filled with water and I've got three thumb, thumb tags and I'm going to take the thumb tags and pierce holes along the side of the bottle. One at the top, one near the middle and one along the base of the bottle. There you go. And now I'm going to unscrew the top. And I'm going to take my thumb tags out. As you can see, water starts gushing out of these holes. The hole at the bottom has the strongest stream jutting out. And the hole in the middle is middle is like sort of medium stream and the hole at the top barely has a stream on it. That's because the pressure is the greatest along the bottom. As you go down, the pressure increases. And that's the same reason why submarines are fortified with strong walls to withstand great water pressure along in that depth. I hope you give this experiment a try. Thank you for watching.